First at 10, the death toll rises in the fast moving Hawaii wildfires. The deadliest U.S. wildfire in years has claimed 53 lives on the island of Maui. A historic town is also destroyed. The wildfires caught the island by surprise, and tonight the number of missing is unknown. For those alive, they say they barely got out. Tonight, our Alicia Niaves with local help that is pouring in for families who lost everything. Alicia? Henry, a San Antonio restaurant owner is related to one of the families who lost everything. 13 of her aunts and uncles live on Maui. All but two live in Lahaina, where all that's left now are memories. This is not real. It can't be happening. My cousin was telling me that it sounded like a war because the explosions and then, of course, fire and smoke. Every summer since birth, Renee Park travels from San Antonio to Maui. We were just there last week. We all just started coming back. The wildfire took the island by surprise Tuesday, racing through neighborhoods in the historic town of Lahaina, a tourist destination dating back to the 1700s. I can recognize some of the landmarks, especially the banyan tree. Every trip to Maui, I always go down to Front Street because that's the happening place. And this year, for some odd reason, we went under the tree and we actually took pictures. Rainy day. Thank God. Gabriel Gallegos is a Houston native living on Maui. This whole conveyor belt. When he witnessed what was happening just miles away, he says he did what any Texan would do. Got in the car and just started rolling around. He and his friends delivered food to anyone in their path. Feeding the pizzas to everybody that we can, Coast Guard, all the volunteers, to breakfast tacos this morning. They they love their like breakfast tacos, and I was like, yeah, you know, Mexicans on the island. Now he's planning to start a nonprofit to help Maui rebuild. At Renee's restaurant, Aloha Kitchen, she's hosting a fundraiser Friday. Anything you can send, blessings and rainbows. All donations for Maui. Everybody move forward. So tomorrow, Aloha Kitchen will host a fundraiser for Maui. It's going to be from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. You can buy food, donate money, or even donate clothes, and they will send it to the island.